Hey guys, we're going to be going back to Scorn of the Demon Chimera Extreme, and we're going to be using Luna Freya this time. Uh, if you don't have, like, you know, Terra, Faisalus, Ibarra, etc., Luna Freya can pretty easily get this done within 15 turns for the mission, um, assuming your gear is pretty good and you have farmed her Chronicles. That is important. So this is the team we're going to be using. We're going to be using Hallowed Age of Charlotte, basically just as the cover tank. We gave her some counter healing, counter MP regen, death immunity, passive provoke, full evasion. She'll be covering the physical attacks, provoking the death, and standing around mostly. That's pretty much it. Uh, we've got lightning, um, Neo Vision's awakened lightning in the base form with Dragon's Brush called the Wild Advanced Weaponry. Shift form, she's going to be helping with disease application and um, doing 25% Thunder Amplify and 130 Thunder Imperil with Thunderfall. Um, other than that, you know, the gear is not super important. Uh, a little bit of LB fill. Oh, we gave her some Esper fill. Cause we need to. We need Esper fill for Luna Freya. I'll explain more in a moment. Um, Shirline Fiend and Daisy are going to be our cover tank. We're starting in the shift form for some auto buffing, but we're staying in the base form for the whole fight. Uh, some water and wind resist, and we've got uh, decent spirit, decent HP, and she'll be covering, filling LB gauge on turn one, and that's basically it. You can replace her for any cover tank you want. Setzer is going to be to remove the field um, and then help out with uh, um, applying disease, bounce and reflect on the boss, mostly standing around. If you've got like Terra or Ferris, they're a good replacement for Setzer. They can remove the field and they can um, actually soak in Lunar Freya, but I, I, I don't want to waste any turns on Lunar Freya. Um, so we're going to bring Setzer because he's a five star. You know, he's easy to get. You can USC him if you really want to. But basically, he's just a way to remove the field. Um, and we gave him some Esper Fill gear as well. Oh, he's on Carbuncle, by the way, with Reflect. Oops. Uh, I lied. He's Now he's on Carbuncle with Dual Cast. Glad I checked that. Dual Cast on Carbuncle. That's important. Um, and then Luna Freya. Base form, not super important. I mean, geared for chaining, but like it's it's not going to do anything, really. Shift form is where her damage comes from. Now, we're going to be using her Evocation Chain to get it done. So we've got Double Chronicle... And all in for chain damage, not LB damage. Um, so there we go. We've got Ferris's car, which is better for this setup. Maxed out Esper, maxed out Evo. Um, and we're going to chain her thunder, um, thunder skill in the shift form. But this is an evocation skill. And it does consume the Esper gauge, though. So you need a way to fill the Esper gauge during her shift form. That's why we're using the auto Esper fill stuff. And then Latch has one built pretty nice. Um, base form, again, we're, we're going to chain on it, but it's not super relevant. We're not really worried about it too much. Shift form is where it's at. We've got, um, there we go. Now, he, uh, he is using the TMR, which is a little bit less damage for this specific build. He's missing a slight amount of extra damage, but still, it's going to be totally fine. We're going to overkill this by a lot within the turn limit. Assuming everything goes to plan, which it may not, but it probably will. All right, so for the ambush, the boss is going to put up that field. We're going to use Setzer to remove it immediately. Come on. All right, Setzer, get rid of that field with second chance. There we go. Uh, Sherline, Fiend, and Daisy are going to shift to the base form. We're going to cover, and then we're going to use Healing Ripples to fill LB Gauge on Lightning, who is going to shift to the shift form now. And we're going to use her LB to amplify Thunder. We're going to just cover physical with Charlotte. And then Luna Freya on the first turn is going to unlock her quad cast with Star of Grace, Shining Star, and Dawn of Purity. I did it wrong. We want to do Star of Grace, Dawn of Purity, and then Shining Star for the Imperil first. Now this is going to deal basically no damage because um, it's the wrong element. Next turn we're going to start doing real damage. Now, like most evokers, um, on, you know, uh, other than Ferris, uh, Luna Freya's good form is very limited. We only do it for two turns out of the fight, or two turns per five turns, I should say. So we're going to get two turns of good damage coming up, and then it's going to be bad damage. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and punch the boss with Setzer, who's using a disease weapon. Put that disease up. We're going to Thunder Thunderfall to do a 130 in peril. And now we're gonna shift our Luna Freya's and start doing the good damage. Now you're gonna see the boss's hit point get chunked off by a tremendous amount right here. She does lots of damage with her Judgment of the Fulgarian Chain. Now of course her Limit Burst is stronger, but because the LB is water element and that's bad for this fight, we're going with Thunder, which is good for the fight. So we're gonna go ahead and chain this up. 
This should chunk off somewhere around like 25-ish percent approximately. Oh, even better. Very nice. Okay, so we're getting some magic damage this turn with phase these. So we're going to splash fight, and we're going to um, Lagoon Shell. And then Charlotte can just repeat. Alright. And we can chain again next turn with um, Thunder as well. We get two turns of good damage, then we get three turns of terrible damage with uh, with Luna Freya. All right, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna be pushing the threshold, not the threshold, the next phase pretty soon. So we're gonna go ahead and bounce reflect um, onto the boss with Setzer. Let's see, we'll use lightning to LB again to just re reamplify, and we'll go ahead and chain up on the boss. Very nice. All right, we'll just do this with her. Um, Shoreline Fiona and Daisy will... Oh, I don't know. We don't really need healing, honestly. So, we, I guess we'll Nearage Kiss here. And... Extra Special Sun Bath, I guess? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah, the boss is going to start healing now. We're bouncing that off. Not a problem. Okay. Counter some heals, all the goodness. Oh, uh, let's see. Sherlin, Fiend, and Daisy can just cover and... Eh, I don't know. Resist buff, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. So we're back in the base form with Luna Freya, so we can't really do a ton in the base form. I guess we'll just Shining three times and Dawn of Purity. This is going to deal so minor damage. It's almost not worth bothering, but... There's not much else to do, honestly, so like it's like one of those why not situations. Uh, we'll use lightning to triple cast some um, attacks. What, what is her cheaper attack? Just to apply disease, hopefully. A little bit of bonus damage. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So we'll use Setcher to reflect on the boss just for a backup. We don't want any healing. Healing would be real bad. All right. Let's go ahead and do some terrible, terrible holy damage on the boss as we wait for our shift form to be available again. And then Charlotte, every turn, just cast her, cast her thing. Alright, come on boss. Alright, so we'll use Lightning to Thunderfall again, just to put up that Imperil. Uh, we'll just chain these guys again. I don't want to waste all the charges of Dawn of Purity, but eh, think it again, why not? Why not? Who cares? Let's go ahead and chain again. <laughs> that damage so good! Not really. Let's right, go ahead and Bounce Reflect again. Um, Sherlyn, Fiona, and Daisy, I don't know. They don't really have anything special to do here. Like, we can just literally do whatever. Just don't provoke. We don't want to provoke the death onto Sherlyn, Fiona, and Daisy. Currently, Charlotte has higher provoke, and she's higher in the party slot. go. I'm not really worried about that. It's going to mana drain her as well. It's fine. Oh, silence. Uh-oh. I forgot about silence. Um, no items. Oh my god. Seriously? I forgot about silence. Are you kidding me? We can't cure it either. to make him silence immune. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna cheat and use an item. This is not gonna be an all mission clear. No, we're not. Because I can't use items, apparently. Are you kidding me? 
D faith and a no D silence. You have to be kidding me. Well, we're going to do what we can. I cannot believe this. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. The boss is going to heal this turn, I'm sure. So irritating. We still got reflect on him for a few turns. We might be okay. We might be okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go to the shift form. And I just realized that I used my Esper last turn. We don't have enough Esper gauge to quadcast this. And I am doing this so poorly. Yeah, I'm going to be short Esper Gauge. I need two Esper Crystals. This is... the biggest headache. The absolute biggest headache. Alright, we got, we got two Esper Crystals. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, We're going to Thunderfall. All because I didn't equip Silence Immunity. Setzer, we can just do a field. Charlotte can just cover. Alright, so Disease should wear off this turn. But he's got he's got Reflect still, so we're technically we're okay. Oh yeah, I, I didn't use my, my buffs because I'm so busy trying to deal with the silence problem. But, um, we got it. We got it. We're good. Okay, so there was Demon Chimera in eight turns with two Luna Freya just chaining her evocation skill. Uh, yeah. So we did, we did all missions. We didn't use an item, even though I tried to. I couldn't because I didn't have a, I didn't expect that. I was supposed to be bouncing Reflect with, but it was fine. It worked out fine. So... We had a little bit of a hitch. Um, when you do that, make sure you put silence immunity on your person that's supposed to be doing reflect. Or bring a way to heal silence that I didn't do because I completely forgot. Yeah, I was originally... Originally, the plan was to bounce reflect with Charlotte, which is why she had... Um, she was, And then I swapped at the last minute to Setcher. And, uh, yeah, like I gave Charlotte hairpin of purity because she was going to do it. Then I swapped it out, but... Whatever. Eight turns, Luna Freya, Demon Chimera, just them, no, no supporting DPS. Alright, see you guys next time.